if you're fortunate enough to own DaVinci Resolve Studio, you will be well aware of the Magic Mask. Uh, it's a great tool for isolating objects, subjects, uh, fairly quickly without the need to sort of rotoscope. The point of this video is not to teach you how to use Magic Mask. What it is, is a quick tip that may just save your sanity. As I'm sure you've come across already, Magic Mask is a bit flaky to say the least. It has a habit of dumping its information. So you've gone to all the trouble of creating your mask. You might hop out of Fusion and then come back. You might add a node. I don't know why it happens, but it just dumps all the information and you end up with no mask which gets really frustrating. So the way I've worked around this problem is I create the magic mask, which is what I've done here. And then before I do anything else, before I do any sort of compositing or whatever reason you wanted your isolated figure, don't do it yet. What you need to do is select your magic mask, shift spacebar and hit saver. What the saver node will do is it will take the output from your magic mask, i.e. this nice, clean, transparent image, and it will save it. What I do is I tend to either use PNG image sequences or EXR image sequences, either or, it's your choice. They both support the alpha output. So once you've got your saver, come to your browse button and you're going to select where you're going to save your EXRs or PNGs. First thing you need to do, create a folder. Don't just select desktop or wherever you want to save these images to. Create a folder to put them in. If you don't create a folder to put them in, you'll end up with hundreds of PNGs or EXRs all over your desktop, and that's just messy. So we'll create a new folder, give it a name. And give our EXRs a name. And then hit save. What you now do is you come to the Fusion menu option. You go to Render All Savers. What this will do now is it will take the output from your Magic Mask through the Saver node and will save this off as a series of still images. Click OK. Now, if you find your folder, you can drag this folder into your media pool and it will import as an image sequence. This image sequence can now be brought into Fusion. And although nothing changed, you're now viewing your image sequence and not the magic mask. What that means is this isn't going to go away now. It won't lose its data and you can still use it. The other way, if you don't want to drag it into the media pool, is if you click away from everything, shift space bar and use loader, your loader node will ask you to navigate to wherever your images are, select the first image, and you have the same thing. It's just coming in through the loader node rather than through your media end node. What that means is that you can now safely disconnect your magic mask, put it to one side and use your image sequence instead. So you can now do whatever you want to this. So you can stick a glow on it. I don't know, whatever it is you're going to do. And you can have your super glowy dancer. And 
and you can put your text behind him and do all the things that you would have done had you just had your magic mask but you can do all this without fear of him being lost or the mask breaking or whatever point is you've got your image sequence you've got your transparency it's not going to break it's not going to lose its mask it's not going to lose its track and you're much more secure than using the magic mask direct quick tip hope it helped please feel free to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll catch you on the next one